you have to give people the, the choices as well because if you don't give people the choices, how do people know what they want if they've never seen it? You know, you can spend 10 years building reputation and boom, overnight you could lose it. So I'm going to ask you, what e-learning platform do you recommend using to host your videos and sell your online courses? Yeah. But for someone who's not an author, like right. Adriel, yeah. is there an optimal uh, size or structure for an ebook? So the reason I can charge a thousand pounds for a seven step template on speaking and presenting that you, at the end of this you should be doing some very big things you have to give people the, the choices as well because if you don't give people the choices how do people know what they want if they've never seen it so this is an interesting concept and I get it from, from, from both sides and it's important but just remember whatever you choose is the intention behind what is it? because you know why people can feel intention. People can feel if you're trying to dupe them, people can feel if you if you're not genuine. And that's why when you start doing guerrilla marketing, you your personal brand is who you are. Your personal brand represents you. You know, you can spend ten years building reputation and boom, overnight you can lose it. Right? So, you know, uh, what is it? Warren Buffett says, um, you know, reputation or, or trust, you know, it's an expensive thing. Don't expect it from cheap people. So I'm to ask you, what e-learning platform do you recommend using to host your videos and sell your online courses? Uh, you can use YouTube, actually. YouTube has a, a lot of you don't know this, but if you use YouTube, you upload it, you can set it as a private video. So only people who you send a link to can actually access that video. So you can use YouTube, it's free, it's fast. Or um, I would recommend Wistia. So Wistia is a very good piece of software. So uh, W-I-S-T-I-A, Wistia. So Wistia is a good piece of software you can use and that software uh, will allow you to upload a lot of videos on there and you can just give people access to that. Um, yeah, there are lots of them, but start with that one, it's cheap. Hi, uh, I'm Nasir. You mentioned that the e-books are a good potential revenue stream. Yeah. But for someone who's not an author, like right. Adriel, yeah. is there an optimal uh, size or structure for an ebook? Uh, it can be it can be one page long. It can be ten pages long. Really, what it is is remember what I said to you. People are paying for the information. I, I'm not a writer. I'm dyslexic, right? But what I'm what, what you want to do is you want to find out what people want, research it and then you emulate it into what you want. So for example, what, what niche or business do you want to go down? My background is business management. So management. Management, coaching, building up uh, sales teams. Yeah. Um, so you could do something on sales training, for example, because you know a lot about that. Right? You could know about how to manage a sales team. If you wrote a book on that, you can now get hired into companies to consult with their sales manager or their directors to manage their sales team. Yeah, so that's one thing you could do. But you know, it doesn't have to be like, you know, this book's hundreds of pages long. You don't have to. You can be like 10, a 10 page download that tells you how to grow your sales team. Yeah, so just keep it simple. You don't even have to have text on there. You can have, have you heard of the concept of infographics? So you could have infographics, just pictures, right? And then you could just get people to download that as well. So kind of diagrams, make sense? Yeah, I, I asked a question this, uh, do you use an example of 27 pounds? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's roughly double what you would pay for a full one. Yeah, right? absolutely. So I guess it's relative to the, the quality of the information that you're Correct, paying. correct. So for example, like, like I said, if I had a book with a winning lottery numbers tonight, you'd pay millions for it, right? So what are people paying for? That is the key. So for example, if I want to lose weight, you know, what people are paying for, remember, they're paying for a solution. So when you put your content out there, remember this morning I talked about problem and solution. What problem are you solving and what solution are you giving? And that's the key indicator of how much you should be charging. So the reason I can charge a thousand pounds for a seven step template on speaking and presenting is I have 10 years of experience. I've spoken on thousands of hours worth of stage time. I've spoken with people like Richard Branson, Tony Robbins, Bill Clinton, Brandy Zuckerberg, James Kahn, Jack Welch, all these big names. So that gives me the credibility, do you see? So why would people pay a thousand? Because it's because it's coming from me. Because I'm the brand, right? So uh, Starbucks coffee. Who, who drinks Starbucks here? 
drop a Starbucks, right? How much do you pay for a Starbucks coffee normally? Three, three, four pounds, right? But do you know the same coffee with no logo on there is like a pound, right? Or you could buy a whole jar of coffee for a pound. And Rich, if you've ever heard of a suitcase called Remore, you know the Remore? Remore suitcase are very expensive, right? They look really nice. So a remote suitcase will cost you about 2,000 pounds, right, roughly, for a 2,000 pound remote suitcase. Um, but there's another brand called Supreme. Have you heard of Supreme? Yeah. Right, Supreme, take their logo. They literally, I'm not kidding, it's the same suitcase with the word Supreme on it. It's four and a half thousand pounds. I'm not kidding. Because it's the branding that's the key. People buy the brand. Right? People buy into you. Right? Why do people shop in Harris? Why do people shop in um what's this Starbucks? <laughs> why, why do people shop in like Primark or Topshop? Right? They have different brands, different audiences. And people are willing to go to Harrods and spend you know a thousand pounds on a t-shirt because it's in Harrods. Do you see what I mean? So it's also the context of the environment, which is what you do and who you are is the branding that allows you to charge those fees.